you know, just in the community that there was a controversy. It was, a, it was a, I guess it was a state tournament, if I'm, if I'm correct. Do you remember how that went? I'd be 60 years old in a couple of weeks, man. I remember that. You know, it was a mental learning experience, and man, it was, you know, it kind of put me out with parts of wrestling. You know, uh, here it is. I'm at the state tournament all throughout high school. Reggie Price, he the one that he used to get me fired up or get me in the mindset because Reggie was lad. You know, they used to go from 98 to heavyweight in the order of the tournaments. Just my junior year, and I went up there. My first, I had the worst record in my weight class. So from the bell, I got to wrestle the number one seed, who I didn't know nothing about. But come on with it, you know that was my thing. Uh, I went out there young, didn't know, you know I'm just gonna do what I'm gonna do. And me and him, I lost to some guy. Uh, he beat me by a point or two point, and me and him had a good match, you know. And after I came off the mat, it was people from everywhere coming. Man, do you know who that was? Do you know who you just wrestled? And in my mind, man, he beat me. I lost, man. I that close don't mean nothing. That is, well, you know, cause it's a strategy to wrestle them too. Well, after that tournament, when I became a senior, in my senior year, guy, at state, his name was Namir Nade. We wrestled at the Christmas. I saw him in my junior year. I think he won state, but he was at like 138, the weight class up under me. And he looked at good doing what he was doing. He had a slick, you know, a slick fireman. And, you know, he won the state. Well, in my senior year, I, you know, I want, when I saw him, Win State, I was like, man, I like to wrestle him. Well, my senior year, they had what they call the Christmas tournament at Oakland University. It'd be 32 teams. Well, I get my shot to wrestle him. Me and him wrestling in the finals at the Christmas tournament. And he ended up beating me at the Christmas tournament. Three to two. Uh, and one of them points was for stalling. So they gave, he really, in my mind, he really didn't win. Well, at that tournament, I remember, I remember this was the one time that I talked to an opponent before the match. I was like, we were standing there facing off. I was like, show me what you got, man. And, you know, we went from there. Well, he ended up beating me by a point. It was a point for stalling. But afterward, okay, he won that. And it came time for the preparation for the state tournament. When I was a senior, this was a time that I did what I know I had to do to be in tip-top condition. And I went to Murphy Park. They got a toboggan hill like that. You know, doing my regular train, I could run that hill five, six times. You know, and on that, when I get to six, you know, I'm struggling. Well, for the state tournament, when I when I was training, I was doing it ten times and never got tired. Cause my mindset was. When I go to state, I'm winning that for my mama, my daddy, my family, and I ain't, I ain't having no close matches, you did. Well, I get up there, and we got three people up there. It's me, Danny Logan, and David Jackson. We, and we going to win some, we coming back with some medals. Well, it, it was some thousands of folks up there at the state tournament, it's packed. Well, it's a lot of anticipation, and I know it for the return match with me and this guy, Native from DC. 
man, I could tell from the crib he ain't strong, he ain't, he can't beat me, man. Well, my thing was, when I get to state, I'm, I'm pinning everybody, I'm pinning everybody in my weight class. I'm, I'm pinning at state. I ain't having no decision. I'm pinning everybody. Well, this is what can't be explained. Me and him came time, not in the finals, the match went out of us vote to the finals. He had he had two moves really on his feet that worked. He had a pretty fire in his kid. And he and he had like a sweeping ankle, a sweeping ankle pick that he did on lesser cats. God, I know you know you gotta be Benny Moon to ankle pick somebody. That's the cat that taught me my style. Man, he could ankle pick and duck on anybody. And that was it was so sweet, it was incredible. Well me and Native Rouse that state. I'm like, I'm putting this dude away. I know he ain't strong. I'm like, I'm going to double leg him. I'm going to cradle his ass up in the air. When I get him off his feet, and I'm going to stick his ass. Well, shot on Nada. Scooped him up. Cradled him in the air like Mike Abrams used to do in the wrestling room every day. And this grip. When these two hands come together in that crater, ain't no getting out of that. Mm -hmm. Well, I put him on his back. You know, when you're in that crater and this and the guy stuck, you can see both. He ain't not, he can't move. Referee, the referee gave me two points for a takedown and three for a near fall. And Detroit Catholic Central coach, he looked at the ref and he intimidated the referee. He said, "You better not call." I, I heard him plain as today. He said, "You better not call him stuck." And that man that was refing the match stopped the match, blowed his whistle, stopped the match. He, this was this the way they justify. They say I slammed him to the mat. Well, if I slammed him to the mat, that's an illegal move. You can't get no points off no illegal move. But they left me with, with a lead, five to three, five to nothing, or five to one or something. What the, and if I slammed him, I can't get no points for no illegal move. Well, at the end of the match, he ended up, man, they was getting him stalling points and all that. Man, look at here. Man, this man is, this man is, he, this man ain't got, he can't do nothing with me, period. He can't do nothing with me on this day. He know I wasn't, he wasn't looking for this here. Well, at the end of the match, I lose seven, six, seven, five, eight, six. He didn't score no only thing he scored was an escape where I let him go get on your feet and let's do this. Man, me. You know, you got programs that got notoriety, that done done this and done that. And here it is, man. And that man put me out with wrestling. Well, I'm gonna be real on it. That same guy, you know, when somebody beats you, you know you been beat, man. Well, I've been out of school 40 some years, man. I got a pilot a couple years ago. He come on, come by my house. He said, Man, this a guy right over here, man. He used to wrestle, man. He keep asking me, Do I know Johnny Johnson? I said, Who is it? He said, Man, the guy named me Mir. When he said that, man, man. I said, I know you, I knew exactly who he was talking about. He said, well, man, the guy want to, uh, he want to see you, man. Yeah, after, you know, it took me a while. I didn't, I didn't know how I, was, how I would feel, man. I had to think about that just like this interview, man. Well, I went down there and saw the guy. 
me and him sit down. He and this is what my partner said to me. He said, man, he was the toughest guy he ever wrestled, man. He said, you he wrestled everybody, he said, but he was the toughest guy he ever wrestled. Well, man, I went down there and I saw him, and, you know. We talked for a little while and I left, but man, that, that was a bit of pill, man. I, 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 Man, you know, if he beat me legitimately, man, okay, I can live with that. Man, that's the thing about this wrestling thing. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Your preparation, what you know, and what you what you gonna do. It's up to you, man. Ain't like football, basketball, where you depending on somebody else that do they part, man. That's the beauty of wrestling. It's one on one. Well, man, you know, and I, man, maybe with somebody else, it probably wouldn't have mattered like that. But man, listen, man, my mama at the time was raising five boys, man, working at General Motors. Man, she can't take off that country. You know, I don't know if she, at that time, realized what the winning the state tournament mean you know but i remember when, my, when i left uh, my, my every time i went to a tournament i wanted to come back with the cardboard of all the people that was in my way class and that metal and the only way you get that is you win the tournament well mama, i told my mama I said, man, I'm going to win the state thing because that's the one I wanted more than anything at that time. Man, listen, took that, man. And you know.